It's time to do more drawing in Adobe Express, and today we're heading into outer space. This is going to be a lot of fun, folks, and it's really simple. Follow along with me, and here we go. Select black right here in the top left, and use the hard round brush right here. Make it as big as you can, and just fill your canvas with black. Now there are a few really fun brushes we can use to create a cool galaxy. And we're going to be using the pink color here, the purple color here, the blue color here, and maybe just a dash of this blue color here. To start off with, let's scroll on down to the art supplies. If you wanna go there faster, just tap art supplies right here. Alrighty, now we're going to find all kinds of fun things, but we're going to start with the diluted acrylic brush right here. And the key is to make it super big. And now, using either the purple, the pink, or the blue, just go ahead and paint in wavy lines. See that? Just making some waves across the canvas. Go ahead and grab another color, like maybe the pink and do the same. Sometimes they can stop in the middle of the canvas and sometimes they can travel all the way across. It doesn't matter. Next, we're going to move on down to the French Impressionist brush right here. And once again, with this dark blue, make the brush really big and just travel around here and there Notice I'm still doing these wavy kind of lines, okay? You might be saying, Kyle, this doesn't look like space. Don't worry, we're going to make it look that way very soon because now we're going to select the watercolor brush right here. And now we'll go back to black, make your brush really big, and more waves. Look at this. See what's happening? Because this brush is soft on one side and has a harder edge on the other, it can make all kinds of pretty patterns here in the sky. Alrighty, we're getting there folks. Now, what else do we want? Let's switch over to the chalk. Here it is. And this time I'm going to use this dark blue again. Click on the screen with the brush really, really big again and just make a little mark like that, make another one here, make one there. I'm not using a lot of back and forth. I'm just kind of tapping for a minute, tapping again. See that? Making some really cool little scattered marks in the sky. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing now with this blue color here. You almost get the impression like maybe these are some stars far off in the distance or something like that. Pretty fun, isn't it? Next, we are going to go back to our watercolor brush. Make it really big and use black. And as we were doing just a moment ago, instead of actually drawing across here, we're just going to tap and hold for a second. Tap and hold. See that? I'm making these shapes all throughout the sky. And what you want to do is just basically go back and forth with all of these brushes we've just used and create wavy lines, tap here and there, using those colors, and occasionally kind of hit it with some black like this. And eventually you're going to wind up with a really cool sky that looks like a starscape. We're going to move on now to the watercolor fill brush right here. Another one you can try for some nifty effects. I'll try this purple color here. Make the brush really big. And just paint across my canvas here and there. And again, because this brush is so soft, you'll see that it kind of creates the look of these cloudy bits in the sky. All right, what's next, gang? Are you ready? This is where we're going to create some stars. 
And there are some pretty cool options we can use, starting with the firecracker right here. Once again, I'm going to select this blue color. You might think, well, stars aren't blue. Well, if they're farther away, they can be a little lighter. See that? Just tap here and there. Every time I tap, I'm going to get a slightly different size star. And remember, you can size your brush down right here too. So if you want some more distant stars, make your brush a little smaller. There we go. Go ahead and change the color. Make it smaller still or bigger. Make a few little stars. Just tap, tap, tap wherever you want. And that looks pretty good. Next, we're going to move down here until we get to the sparkler. Make that a bit smaller here. And let me show you what you can do with the sparkler. I'll keep my mouse in one place and just tap and tap and tap and tap. Keep tapping in exactly the same spot. And look what it does. How cool is that? Make it a little smaller. Come over here and do the same thing. Tap, 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 tap away. Maybe go with something a little lighter, like this light blue here. All right, it's time for our big sun. We're going to use the yellow right here, and we're going to use our hard round brush. Tap on the basic category, grab the hard round brush, and make it really big, maybe about 700 or something like that. And boom, there we go. Now select the orange, and go back to your art supplies, Remember our friend, the watercolor fill brush? Just tap on that. Make it about the same size as the sun. We had it about 700. And just paint in a little bit of a circle like this. And see that? You get this cool glow around the sun. That's neat. You can use the other watercolor brush and do something similar. Just tap a few times and you'll get a different kind of a look. Wow. We'll draw another planet right here. Go back to your hard round brush. There it is. We'll select this blue color, make the brush a little smaller, and just tap. And then we'll use the soft round brush right here. Make your brush a lot bigger. Once you've got the brush bigger, you're going to go to the center of the circle and you're going to tap about five times. One, two, three, four, five creates a glow around the planet. Now, you can continue to add all kinds of little details in the sky. The one thing I'll do is make a little satellite. I'll use our basic brushes. And right here we have a triangle. I'm just going to tap on the triangle and then use the gray color here. And I'll make this a little bit bigger and tap. Neato. That's gonna be the base of my little satellite. Next, I'll use the square and just tap right above the triangle here, like so. Then we'll go to this halftone circle. You may need to adjust the size of the brush. Select black and just tap in the center of the square. If it's too big, you can undo and make your brush a little smaller. Tap again. Perfecto. And now, I'm just going to use a dashed line. And for the color, I think I'll use this pink. And I'm going to draw a path for my satellite so we know it's just flown into this area here. You can design your satellite or maybe a little rocket to look however you want with a lot more detail than I've done here. And that is your space illustration. Good to go. So thanks for hanging out for another drawing episode, and we'll see you next time.